Welcome to Live from the Lab, where we break down the science behind Optavia. I'm here at our Innovation Center with someone who knows exactly how all of this works, Jennifer Christman, certified personal trainer and Optavia's in-house registered dietitian. Today, we're diving into a topic that comes up all the time, fat burn. What it is, how it works, why it matters, and how the right nutrition and structure can help your body do what it was designed to do. We're going beyond buzzwords into the biology, the plan, and how it fits into real life. So whether you're just starting your journey or wondering why you're feeling stuck, this conversation's for you. Okay, Jen, thank you so much again for sitting down with me. So the first segment of questions I want to ask you are about fat burn. Great. So my first question, what exactly is fat burn? Well, the body's primary source of energy is carbohydrate. And when we actually control that carbohydrate intake in our bodies and it isn't available, the body begins to break down fat for energy. And that at Optavia is what we call fat burn. What makes the fat burning state different from simply losing weight? So you can really lose weight on any reduced calorie meal plan. Less calories though, doesn't mean that you'll be actually losing fat. If you don't eat the right balance of nutrients, it's like, you wanna make sure you're getting protein and carbohydrates, Um, you may actually lose muscle by just simply eating less calories. Gotcha, so it sounds like you need like more components than just eating less calories to get into that fat burn state. You got it. Yeah, makes sense. How does the body transition from burning carbs to burning fat? So our bodies have glycogen stores in them and The glycogen is in the muscles, it's in our organs, and when we control our carbohydrate intake, along with our having adequate protein, we burn through those glycogen stores in a few days. So once you burn through those and you're controlling your carbohydrates consistently, that flips a switch and you actually start burning and tapping into those fat stores for energy. Wow, I'm learning so much and I feel like I did not learn any of this in science class. (laughs) Why is preserving muscle mass so important during fat burn? So your muscle is actually the powerhouse of your body for your metabolism. So it affects your resting metabolic rate. So you want to make sure when, as you're eating less calories and less carbohydrates, you want to make sure you're getting adequate protein. And that protein, when you eat that throughout the day, actually stimulates muscle protein synthesis and helps to preserve it. So when you're in fat burn, you're burning your fat, you're eating enough protein to help protect that muscle. That makes sense. And it's, I feel like protein is kind of a new trend right now. So mm-hmm. it just shows how important it is and that we all should be following that. Yeah. Okay. So now I want to ask you a series of questions about nutrition and plan structure. Right. First, I want to ask you what type of eating pattern best supports fat burn? So when we're talking about eating patterns, we want to talk about eating first thing when you wake up in the morning. And from there, you want to eat every two to three hours. And what this does is this controls the amount of carbohydrates and protein you're taking in and spaces it out throughout the day. And you're also getting that high quality protein that you're spacing throughout the day. So eating every two to three hours. That's so interesting. I recently started eating more early in the day when I first Mm -hmm. wake up and I've really noticed such a difference. So that makes total sense. Yeah. Okay. Next question. What happens when you skip a meal? So when you skip a meal, you might actually be hungry, and then that can lead to overeating. And what that does is that really spikes your blood sugar up and down. So you wanna really try to avoid that. The other thing by skipping meals is you might be missing out on key nutrients, vitamins and minerals, and we really wanna prevent that as well. Yeah, last week I got super busy, completely forgot to eat dinner, and just the whole next day I felt thrown off. And my whole Mm -hmm. mind, I just wanted to eat something and it really affected my whole day. So I will not be doing that again. Absolutely. Absolutely. You want to fuel your body and you want to feel good. Yeah. Makes sense. How do small, frequent meals help maintain fat burn throughout the day? So small, frequent meals help you to utilize nutrients better. So let's talk about protein. So you want to make sure we're preserving that muscle mass throughout the day. So by eating small frequent meals, you're actually spacing out your protein to stimulate muscle protein synthesis. And that muscle is really gonna help you. Gotcha, that makes sense, thank you. Why is protein so important when you're trying to lose fat? 
Well, protein is made up of amino acids, and there are actually some essential amino acids that your body cannot make. So you want to make sure that you're getting high-quality protein. Adequate, high-quality protein has all of those amino acids that you need. And if you space them out throughout the day, your body can utilize them better. And we've got that all for you, all in our fuelings. So you just eat those fuelings and your lean and green meal, and you're getting your high-quality, adequate protein. That's great to know and makes so much sense. And it's wild to think that the peanut butter bar can do that for you because it tastes so good. And it is loaded with all those vitamins and minerals that you need as well. That's perfect. How do blood sugar spikes or dips impact fat burn? So your body likes to use carbohydrates first for energy. So if you are skipping meals and then maybe the next meal you're overeating and then you're having too many grams of carbohydrates, well, that just wreaks havoc on your blood sugar, and then you're utilizing the carbohydrates for energy and not your fat stores. So by eating every few hours, you're able to keep that blood sugar stable, and you're able to utilize the nutrients as you need to. That makes sense to me, like keeping a steady and consistent rhythm rather, rather than like shocking your body with highs and lows of food. Mm -hmm. Everything being the same helps a lot. And that consistency is so important because if you – are utilizing your carbs and you're not tapping into your fat stores and then you're out of fat burn. Yeah, makes sense. Is it true that eating too little can stall fat burn? Well, your body needs a certain amount of calories to function. So if you're not eating enough, your body can essentially go into a starvation mode and then you're utilizing your muscle for energy and we want to preserve that. So we want to make sure we're having that balance of protein, carbohydrates, and fat and then in addition, if you're not eating enough, you're not getting those vitamins and minerals you need. So all of that coupled together, you're not feeling your best. So yeah. you, you can eat too little. So we want to make sure that you're eating enough. So the 5-in-1 plan has it all laid out for you. That makes sense. It sounds like your body almost goes in shock because it's just searching for those protein and nutrients and really is, doesn't know what to do. Yes. And we want everyone to feel their best. Exactly. Okay. Now I want to ask you some questions about real life application. First one, how soon can someone expect to enter fat burn on a structured plan like Optivia's? Sure. So because you're controlling your carbohydrates, your protein, and your calories, you're actually going to burn through those glycogen stores in about three to five days. Now, it's going to vary for each person depending on what kind of meal plan they followed before, um, how quickly they get into fat burn. Um, some people, it might take a little longer. Some people, it might take shorter. But for about... It's three to five days for most people. Gotcha. Yeah. So you're probably feeling great once those days hit and yeah, exactly. you're ready to move forward and keep going. Mm -hmm. It's great. very motivating. Yeah, absolutely. What are some early signs your body has entered a fat burning state? So one, like you said before, people are feeling better, right? They're feeling less hungry. They're feeling more energized and then in addition to that, they're seeing that scale move a little bit. So you, when you get into fat burn, you might lose a little bit of water. Mm -hmm. So you're seeing that scale move, which is also pretty motivating in the beginning. That sounds so motivating. And I feel like once that stage hits, you're ready to hit the ground running and keep going. Yeah, exactly. Why do so many diets fail to support healthy, sustainable fat burn? So fat burn is really that sweet spot when you're controlling your carbohydrates and calories. So a lot of different... Um, companies or diets, you, you really have to do a lot of work with your macros or counting calories or um, meal prepping. So I think if you don't have that structured meal plan and you want to get into fat burn, that can hinder some people and, and you know, it makes it more difficult. Mm -hmm. But if you do something like a structured meal plan or um, something like meal replacements, you know, it really takes the guesswork out of it and you make sure you get all the nutrition you need. That makes total sense. The guesswork for me was always the hardest and like adding things up and everything. And just one thing that tells you what to do, I don't have to measure it, is key for success. Yeah, exactly. And it kind of puts those guardrails up so you're able to stay in fat burn. Right. Makes sense. Thank you. Can fat burn help with cravings or appetite control? So when someone does get into fat burn, one of those symptoms that you may feel is that you're less hungry. And as you're adjusting to a different way of eating, you may see that your cravings do decrease as well. So again, everybody's different, 
but potentially it can help with those reducing those cravings. That's great. I know that's a big key in helping people to lose weight is the cravings and that's mm-hmm. just something you hear about all the time. Yeah. What are the biggest mistakes people make when trying to burn fat? Well, what I see a lot is that people think that they need to eat less and they skip meals. So when you're skipping meals, you might think that you're like getting into a deeper fat burn, but you might be missing those key nutrients and you actually need calories and you need protein and you do need some carbohydrates to make sure that you're in that sweet spot for fat burn. So skipping meals is just something that I see that people make that is a mistake. And then you're hungry too. And we don't want you to be hungry. We want you to feel your best. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It just shows how like difficult skipping a meal is on your body and the strain and everything. Exactly. So, yeah. Okay. So now we're going to switch gears and talk about motivation. Great. So my first question is, what would you say to someone who feels stuck and isn't seeing any progress? Well, if somebody's feeling stuck, the first thing I'd say is they need to connect back with their coach. You know, really taking a look at why they've started on this health journey. And then you can dive into the foundational habits. So maybe take a look at what you're eating, you know, are we veering off and eating other things? Or, you know, maybe we're skipping meals, maybe we're not drinking our water, maybe our carbohydrates are creeping up where they shouldn't be for fat burn. So, you know, there's a lot you can do, but connecting with your coach and really helping motivate you to kind of get over that hump if you're feeling stuck. Great. Thank you. Those are some great tips. I feel like having a coach and someone to motivate you and hold you accountable is Mm -hmm. key to your weight loss journey. Exactly. And a coach is somebody that's been in their shoes. Yeah, exactly. How does mindset or consistency influence fat burning success? Well, really consistency drives results. So if you are consistent, then you're able then to really hone in on those habits. So I would say if you get off track, again, connect with your coach, connect with your community and just get right back on track. And it, it's really not about those, you know, daily, like if you go off track, it's really about the overall and being overall consistent and that will help drive the results. Right. Yeah. I feel like going off track once that happens mm-hmm. probably to most people, but then having someone tell you and help you get back on track every time is super beneficial. Exactly. And they can help hold you accountable because it really doesn't matter. You go off track a little bit. It's really refocusing and having that positive growth mindset will help propel you forward. Yeah. So keep in mind, it's really all about progress over perfection. What's the biggest myth about fat burn you wish more people knew the truth about? So the biggest myth I hear when somebody is in fat burn is that you cannot exercise. And that simply is not true. We want people to exercise. Exercise has so many health benefits. But above all, we were talking about the muscle and the protein intake. When you exercise, it helps to preserve your muscle. And what we really want to focus on when we're in fat burn is that resistance training. So you pair the resistance training with that adequate high quality protein eaten throughout the day, and then you set yourself up for success. So really don't skip those meals, eat that lean and green meal, and go ahead and start exercising. That's great. I had no idea. And do you think something as simple as walking could be beneficial when it comes to exercise? Walking is a great place to start. Yeah. You know, just getting outside even, getting some sunlight. And then, you know, if you're able to weave in some light resistance training. Mm -hmm. And if you really want to go for it, you know, start lifting those weights because that's really going to help with your muscle growth. That's great. And even, you know, you can go on Amazon, order some small weights and Mm -hmm. just doing that at your own home, nothing too crazy. Sounds like it would be very helpful in this. Exactly. And the habit of healthy motion is something that your coach can also help you with. Thanks so much for joining us at the lab today. And thank you so much, Jennifer, for your insightful conversation about fat burn. We'll see you soon.